this video, I'm going to show you two ways to multiply a three-digit number by a two-digit number. We're going to use a standard algorithm and an area model. So first, I'm going to show you the standard algorithm, which is just uh, stacking these two numbers on top of each other, uh, lining up your place values. Um, so 463 times 25, like this. Okay, and our first step is to multiply this ones digit by all of these digits. So the 5 times the 3 gives me 15, carry the 1. 5 times 6 gives me 30, and then we add this 1, okay, so 31, and then carry the 3 again on top of the 4. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 3 more is 23. And then I do a trick that I like to call X and O, so I cross off my 1s, and I write a 0. I do this because this 25, this is 20 as a place value, not just 2. So this 0 makes it like we're multiplying by 20. Okay, And then you want to make sure too you cross off these numbers that you carried so that you don't accidentally add them again. 2 times 3 gives me 6. 2 times 6 gives me 12. And then I want to carry my 1. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 more is 9. And then I add these together. So this is the standard algorithm. 5 plus 0 is 5. 6 plus 1 is 7. 2 plus 3 is 5. 9 plus 2 is 11. So we got 11,575. Okay. Now I'm going to erase this. And I'm going to leave this answer. I'm going to erase this and um, show you the area model. Hopefully we get the same answer. So with the area model, you want to take apart these place values. Okay, and so in 463, we have three place values. In 25, we have two. So we're going to make a three by two area model by drawing out a rectangle like this, cutting it in two pieces here, and then three pieces here. Okay. And um, I might actually make this a little bit bigger so I have room to write in my answers. So you want to make your area model kind of big so you have space to write your answers. That's an important part. So cut it half this way and three squares this way. Okay, so then we take apart these numbers. So 463. This is 400. This one is 60, and this one is 3. And then 25 is 20 and 5. And then we multiply for each of these boxes, like we're finding the area of this box. So 400 times 20, we can just take 4 times 2 and get 8, and then add 3 zeros. So we have 8,000. And then 4 times 5, and then add the two zeros, so 20, and we get 2,000. 60 times 20, so 6 times 2 is 12, and then add the two zeros. 60 times 5, 6 times 5 is 30, and then add a zero. 3 times 20 is 60, and 3 times 5 is 15. So these are called partial products. And what we want to do now is add up all these partial products. So we take 8,000, 2,000, 1,200, or 1,200, 300, 60, and 15. And we add them all together. Kind of like we did earlier but we're just adding them differently. Okay, so now 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 plus 5 is 5. Zeros plus 6 and 1 is 7. 2 plus 3 is 5. And then 8, 9, 10, 11. And that checks out. We got the same answer. So this is called the area model because you're taking these little boxes, multiplying them, finding the area and then adding all of those partial products together.